Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're going to take a look at creating interactive activities through Wiser, which you can find at app.wiser.me. Now, before we log in, let's go ahead and see how this works on a student perspective. So here's a sample activity. And you can see this one is a matching exercise. So let's say I want to match the word to its definition. I just click and drag. Down here we have a labeling activity. I'm going to put in the answer that way. You can see we also have some short answer questions as well as some fill in the blank questions and some uh, more matching type of questions down here. Now let's see how you can create an activity like this yourself on wiser.me. So let's go ahead and log in. And I'll log in with my Google account. And we can now reuse one of the community worksheets if we want to. Yes, so I could reuse this one. I could say I want to use that in my own account. And I could edit it to fit my students' needs. We'll save it. And I can assign it to my students. And you can see here I have automatic feedback turned on for students. Let's give, give this to Mr. Burns' class. And now you can see I can share it to Google Classroom. I can also give a link to my students, and with that link, they can then enter a PIN code to complete the activity. We'll take a look at the student perspective in just a minute. Let's go ahead and go back to My Worksheets. Let's say we want to create a new one. Now up here I can put it in grade, put it in grade nine, in social studies, and we can choose a different theme if you want to use a different background. You can just select one here and change it up. There it is. Let's put in an activity title. Now we can add a task. Now let's try out fill on an image. I'm going to upload an image here. My students will have to label things they see in the picture. So there's the picture. I want them to label the Opera House. So I'm going to put it in Sydney Opera House. And I can put in as many place marks as I want throughout it. Let's add another task. Let's do fill in the blank. And we'll just say complete the sentences. Now Let's go ahead and highlight the word snow and say blanket. So that would be a blank now when students view this. And we can even say we want to do multiple words and blank that again. We'll see, save that. And you can also fill in multiple choice or matching activities. You can do an open answer. Let's do a quick multiple choice. Now, if you wanted to, you could copy and paste text from uh, an existing document that you already have. Now, here are my answer choices. I can just use text if I want to, or I could upload an image as an answer choice. I'm going to identify the correct response and say done. So now I have three options here in my three activities within this one sheet. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's assign this to my students. Again, we're going to give this to Mr. Burns' class. Okay. 
and again I have a shared Google Classroom I'm going to turn on automatic feedback for students let's grab the link that we can give to students and let's take a look at the student perspective now so that's the link that my students are going to have now students can sign in And my student can go in and say, fill this in. Now let's say they choose the wrong answer here. They can say save it. Or they can say I'm done and now view the feedback. And they'll see the answers that they got correct or incorrect. Now if Max clicks on wiser.me and he enters the PIN number for the activity, and there's his PIN code, he can enter the PIN code, and he can see that I see that activity there as well. And he views his feedback one more time. Now here's a teacher. Let's go look at the answers and say assess answers. So Max Byrne responded. I can see, oh, he got that one wrong. You can see he got one out of two here, and I can see that he got that one wrong as well. So that's a short overview of Wiser. Again, you can find it at app.wiser.me. It's a nice tool for giving interactive assignments to your students. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.